Your head coach, Brad Laird. The Demons, a very busy, very productive, very good first day of the early signing period. Coach, we talked about it yesterday. It's the second time around. I guess you're a little bit more familiar. And you chose to, seem, chose to attack a little different this year, get some guys in early. Yeah, I mean, it's different for us. Uh, it's different for me as a head coach. It's different for our staff. You know, last year coming in, um, we were able to get some mid-year junior college kids in, but uh, but this year with uh, with some high school guys that we were able to get on uh, last January, last February, you know. So I think the biggest thing in the recruiting process is building relationships. And, uh, and our staff has done a great job going out, identifying the needs that we needed for this football team moving forward, but also building those relationships, uh, you know, prior to uh, the, the day that we had today. And, you know, it, I tell you, it was our staff did a great job uh, signing 10 high school young men that, that we feel like can come in and be productive. Uh, at Northwestern State. You know, you look up front, I think that's where it starts. Uh, we had three up front that we signed. Uh, we had a running back and a receiver. You know, we signed five offensive guys. Uh, defensively, we also signed five. Uh, two D linemen uh, that will be very productive players for us. Uh, an outside linebacker, uh, an inside linebacker, and a corner. You know, the thing is, you look at this signing class, this is just a kickstart of what's going to happen in February. We still got some needs. Uh, that we've identified that we need to hit moving forward. Obviously, though, this is the start you want to have. You get these guys in-house, and it's no longer they're committed, and you have to wait another two and a half months. These guys are in the fold now. Yeah, no doubt. You know, that's, uh, that was the key for us, you know, as we went and identified the guys that, that we needed. Uh, and it was a fit for not only us in Northwestern State, but also for those student athletes and their families. And, and whenever that's the fit, and. We felt like uh, the, that that's who we wanted. You know, go ahead and get this thing over with in December, and we were able to do that with these 10 guys. And some of these guys come with a, a lot of, you know, some pubs, some fanfare, and obviously a lot of accomplishments. You look at a guy like an Eric Hart, ran for 2,000 yards this past year at China Spring High School. He's gonna get a chance to come in and, and work behind guys like Jared West and learn from those guys. But what does a guy like him bring? Well, I think you see his explosiveness. I think that's one thing uh, that as we looked at in, in, in a running back was uh, was uh, being very dynamic, and that's what he showed in high school. Well, not only in high school, but we were able to identify him at camp and build that relationship with him. And I think that's, uh, you know, as we continue to move forward in, in the recruiting process, it's, it's about the relationships, and that's one that we developed early. Uh, coach Lucas did a great job with him. Coach Lucas had a connection there with the high school head coach. so. Uh, you know, that, I think that's key in recruiting. Uh, but he has, uh, he has a chance to come in and be uh, very dynamic. Um, you know, you look up front offensively with three guys that we signed, um, you know, with Christian Mobley, uh, Spencer Cody, and Jordan McCray, you know, three guys with, uh, with the size that we were looking for to be able to come in and play now. Uh, whether that will happen, uh, you, know, that, that's, you know, we'll still see. But, but, but those three guys give us three big hammers up front. Uh, that uh, that are very athletic big guys, and then uh, you know I think uh, you know offensively top it off with the receiver and Robbie Williams uh, from Chapel Hill, a young man that we saw early in camp and, and continue to follow him uh, through the recruiting process and uh, having him down for games uh, during the season, and, and you know I think uh, you know looking forward to what he has to bring to Northwestern State in the future. He's a grab bag. He can seem like just looking at what he's done. He can do a little bit of everything. Obviously, you want him to play receiver, right. but there's some weapons in that skill set. If you get in a pinch, he can do a little bit of everything. Well, that's the thing. You look at uh, what he did at Chapel Hill, not only at receiver, and, and that's what we saw at camp, but also uh, you know, as a returner, as a defensive guy that, that's not scared of contact. So you get a receiver that's, that has that type of mentality, I think uh, he brings another dimension to the table. Defensively, you shift there, a guy like Jared Pedraza, you mentioned uh, Williams being able to go both ways. This guy that went both ways and was a pretty successful offensive player, but probably has maybe a little higher ceiling on the defensive side. Yeah, and, and there's going to be a couple that we talked about defensively that played both ways, uh, even even their senior year. But uh, but Pedraz was one that uh, played running back, uh, very successful at running black, uh, back, played linebacker, has been doing that since a freshman. And, uh, you know, you've seen him continue to get better and better and, and what he brings to the table as a linebacker. And then you look up uh, up front, you know, John Daigle, a uh, young man from Welsh that, uh, you know, I don't know if he comes off the field, you know, plays tight end for him, also plays defensive end, uh, will be very productive for us. And then Jabraylon Yarber uh, is the same guy at a, at a, at a, at a 
you know, a high school there in Texas at John Tyler that uh, that plays both ways, plays offensive guard and also plays defensive lineman. But, you know, we felt like us- utilizing his, uh, his athletic ability and quickness on the defensive line was going to be a benefit from us, benefit for us. Uh, and then you look at an outside linebacker and Chandler Moncrief and, and uh, you know, when you, when you talk about – uh, North Louisiana and 5A football, you talk about West Monroe and, and, uh, and, the, and the job that he did. You look at them defensively, four out of five games in the playoffs uh, were shutouts, and, and he was a part of that, big part of that defensively. And so, you know, have the ability to get him right up the road uh, down here to, to Natchitoches was huge. And then Kunta Hester, you know, another guy that we've been following, and uh, Coach Selfo did a great job with him as far as coming from camp, and, and our coaches did a great job in recruiting Kunta that – you know, another one that, that, that John Eric was very successful, ended up playing West Monroe in the semifinals. Uh, two of their losses were to uh, West Monroe. So a very uh, – Coach Scott there does a great job with that program and, and uh, very fortunate to, to be able to snag one from John Eric. I mean, a guy like Moncrief was probably a guy you saw a couple of years ago and have been able to keep an eye on. You saw him very up close two seasons ago. Yeah. Um, and and, and – where he came from, Coach Olson did a great job with him because he was a guy that, that transferred into West Monroe. And, uh, and so I think when you do your homework and do your research, uh, Coach Olson knew about him when he was at uh, uh, Sterlington before transferring to West Monroe. So uh, did a great job following him, keeping up with him throughout the recruiting process to get to where we are today. And speaking of Coach Olson as your recruiting coordinator, and I know this, this doesn't get done without a staff effort. You've talked about those coaches, but – what they were able to bring, really your first full recruiting session with your staff. I tell you, our guy, you know, it's, you know, when you go through the recruiting process of just recruiting an individual, um, you know, first you got the recruiting coach, but but that's just a kickstart of the recruiting process, uh, getting to know the family, building that relationship. But, but, but the whole staff has to be bought into the recruiting process. And, and our staff did a great job, and Coach Olson put a plan together that, uh, that, that, that our staff bought into. And, uh, you know, our visit, our visit is second to none. Our visits, uh, you know, one thing Coach Olson talks about, and I preach about it here at Northwestern, it's about the people. And, uh, and, and we get people involved. It's not just about our staff that does a great job, but we get, uh, we get Northwestern State. Uh, involved starting at the top with Dr. Maggio and, and uh, you know, the organization uh, when we bring those guys in on visits. Uh, the, the, because we want to make sure not only that student athlete, but the family members, uh, when they leave here, there's, there's no questions that they need answered about Northwestern State and their young man being a student athlete here. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.